Hey everyone, this is Dr. Ruscio with some advice for functional medicine patients. So if you're a patient working with a functional medicine practitioner, uh, there's one piece of advice I'd like to give you that I think will be very helpful. And that is regarding questions. And here's a little bit of context and, and bear with me as I, I try to uh, explain this. I, I think on the patient end, it, it, it's, it's maybe a good feeling to say, I, I walked into that visit, I asked every question that I had, and I used every minute that was available with a doctor or with a clinician. Right? I can understand how that would, from the patient perspective, seem like the way to go. However, uh, that actually may not be an optimum strategy. And, and what I'd recommend you do instead, and I'll explain why in a moment, is take a deep breath before your, your visit, look at the questions that you have, and do a Pareto analysis, or the Pareto principle is essentially the 80-20 principle, that 80% of the value usually lies in 20% of X, right? And I would focus on the 20% of your questions that are the most important. So I consolidate your question list down to 20% of the most important and ask those. And the reason for this is because it's very important on the clinician end that there's a little bit of free time before the next visit to be able to look through their chart notes, reflect, and think on your case, right? So while it may seem helpful, uh, or it may seem like the best strategy to use every minute you can with your clinician, you know, it, it's important not to be, um, you know, too demanding in terms of how much time you use and try to be efficient. Really, this comes down to efficiency. Trying to be efficient in asking the most important questions and then leaving your clinician some time at the end of your visit while information is fresh to ruminate on what you've said, the responses that have been given, look at the chart notes, look at the different hypotheses he or she is trying to develop, organize everything, and keep good notes. And if you're trying to use every minute of the time that you have allocated or, or squeeze in every question, what you actually do is you, you force the provider to take that time to ruminate, think on your case, update their notes. You force them to do that in a more condensed time window, which is not the best position to be in. And while no clinician ever wants to rush, um, you know, the, the more time you use, the more you push a clinician to, to not having as much time as they may seem, um, or they, they may feel to be ideal. Now here's an, another way of thinking about this. Right? In case it's, it's counterintuitive for you to think to consolidate to the 20% of the most important questions, think about it in reverse. Right? If you went to see a provider and they had you fill out a 20 page questionnaire, but another provider was really able to consolidate that down to the most important and, and, and effective questions. The, the quality of the care was still the, the, the same, but they were able to consolidate that down to a six page questionnaire that really focused on the most important items. Wouldn't you prefer that? Or another way of thinking about this is if a provider was gonna have you do thousands of dollars worth of lab tests, or another provider was going to say, what are really the most important and most critical tests to get this patient feeling better and focused on that 20%? wouldn't you be grateful, right? So, something that I think a lot of, I don't think, I mean, I, I hear this in, in conversation with, with other uh, providers, is they wish they had more time at the end of their visits with, uh, to, to sit with the information for a patient's case. So one of the things you can do to help give your provider a, a little bit of extra time to really think on your case and, and sit with that information and figure things out is not to try to use up every single minute in your visit. Try to consolidate to the questions that are the most important to allow he, uh, he or she a little bit of time to, a little bit of extra time to really sit with uh, the information and um, try to be as effective for you as they can because a, a little bit of, of time to think can go a long, long way. So while it may seem counterintuitive, again, what I would recommend you do is before a visit, if you have lots of questions, look at your list and consolidate the 20% that you feel to be the most important. And I think that will actually end up being a method that gets you to feeling optimal more quickly. So just a thought there. I'm certainly open to uh, thoughts or, or comments if people have them. And this is Dr. Ruscio, and hopefully this information helps you get healthy and get back to your life. Thanks.